I'm Deborah Borchart, and this is your weekly stash. It was a shortened trading week as markets were closed on Monday for the New Year's holiday. This week, Aurora Cannabis bragged about its solid balance sheet holding $320 million. But the company neglected to mention that it had almost $600 million in cash just a year ago. The company did reduce its convertible debt, but only by $84 million. The company also noted that it sold its Polaris facility, which brought in 15 million bucks. However, they neglected to say that it had only been open for two years, and it is thought that they have spent $50 million developing that facility. Glasshouse Brands closed on a non-brokered private placement of Series C preferred stock, raising $4.7 million of new capital, and that's on top of the $26.5 million that they raised in a preferred stock offering that closed early in December. Flower One Holdings began its previously announced reorg plan and the closing of the transactions contemplated by that plan, which includes a Canadian restructuring transaction. Atlas Global Brands completed its reverse takeover transaction with Atlas Biotechnologies, Ag Medica Bioscience, and Cambrosia Limited, and the concurrent acquisition of Cambrosia of Tulane Papo Limited, Pharmacy Baron, and RJ Regovim Ventures. That is a privately held operating cannabis pharmacy in Israel. The company will join to form the Atlas Global Brands, which is expected to begin trading on the Canadian Securities Exchange on January 13th under the ticker symbol ATL. Illinois is trying to pump up its social equity efforts. The state released newer, easier rules for applications. At the same time, local minority-owned the 1937 Group created a social equity incubator to help social equity applicants in the state. It's been a busy week for legalization efforts. A Republican lawmaker in the Virginia House of Delegates has introduced a bill to finally stand up the state's adult use cannabis market more than 18 months after the legislature legalized adult use marijuana. But many advocates are unhappy with social equity changes made by the bill's author and that is adding more uncertainty to the mix. Also, the U.S. Virgin Islands Senate voted to legalize adult use cannabis, sending the legislation known as Bill 34-0345 to the governor for signature. Medical cannabis has been legal in the Virgin Islands since 2019. And that is the big news this week. Hey, next week, Connecticut will begin adult use sales in a select amount of locations. I'm Deborah Borchart reporting for the Green Market Report, and this has been your weekly stash.